Now, we've, we've piddled around, we've had a little bit of fun, but now it's time to get to our, our featured guests. Um, they're here to share the story of the Arizona Coalition for Military Families, which is celebrating a decade of collaboration to build support for all those who serve. Join me in welcoming Colonel Wanda Wright and Director Thomas Winkle. Come on up, Wanda and Thomas. How are you? Wanda, Mark Cordes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Thomas, watch your step. Don't take one step back or else you'll be in the front row. Good to have you here. Thanks for being here. Tell us what's going on. Well, um, we're here as, a, as partners in a gr larger partnership called Be Connected, which is a suicide prevention program, which we don't really call suicide prevention program, for veterans, service members, and their families. That's awesome. What a great cause that is. I know that's a huge... Um, Huge issue, and, and, and I know there are people all around the country trying to tackle that. And uh, yes, and thanks for all you do, Thomas. Yes. Yeah, so um, uh, the director of the Arizona Department of Veteran Services and myself, the director of the Arizona Coalition for Military Families, along with the VA, the governor's office, the National Guard, Tri West, Access Arizona's Healthcare Cost Containment System, and a whole host of other organizations decided to team up. This is a couple years ago and create a cohesive plan that would help address veteran suicide issues. Now, the beauty of this particular program is that we're not trying to necessarily work in the last 10 minutes, the last hour, when per people are really in massive crises. We do work in that area, but our goal is, is to prevent those entirely. So we are working months, years, even decades uh, ahead of time in order to resolve issues for them like housing and spirituality and moral injuries, and mental health and finances, and legal issues, in order to be able to make it so that um, they don't get to the crisis point at all. Well, that, there's so many issues that are intertwined there that you've kind of, you've kind of you know, hit on all those. Um, that's awesome. What, um, how did this begin? Do you, well, um, several years ago now, uh, the Clay Hunt Act was legislated at the federal government level. And it asked the VA to collaborate with the community. And at that time, Thomas and I really had a good discussion about trying to work with the VA as a partner to um, essentially expand the Clay Hunt Act. And as we were rolling through that, we recognized that the coalition already had experience with the National Guard. And I'll let Thomas talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So uh, in 2010, uh, the Arizona National Guard had had its highest suicide rate ever. It had been the highest for the preceding uh, several years before that. This was a major issue. So the, the adjutant general at that time said, let's figure out what to do with this. I think we can resolve this. Um, and uh, so we put a whole package of programs together. Uh, we did a variety of different things within the Guard and pulled in community members like the VA, but also like Mark Community Resources and, and uh, all sorts of different organizations around the state and uh, made it so that we literally stopped suicides for over 36 months, from its highest rate ever to zero for over 36 months. So essentially what we've tried to do now is recreate that from a statewide uh, level. And it's important that we're all part of it because um, as statistics have shown from the CDC and the VA, about 20 veterans die a day. Yeah, that's unbelievable. But only six of them are actually engaged with the VA. So that means 14 of them are in our communities dying. And so it became imperative that the community begin working together to find them and find the resources for them in an early stages, early intervention to um, resolve and to reduce suicide. That's incredible. I'm sure that, you know, after the fact, you always hear people say, well, I had no idea that right. what are some of the signs? What are some of the things that we can do as we're working with folks and interacting with folks that we can kind of say, you know, uh, what can we do to, to bring that number down? That's just unbelievable. 20, 20 22 a day is, is, is too many. I really appreciate that question. I think um, 
you know, some of the some of the primary things to be aware of when thinking about that is that veterans within the state of Arizona are three times more likely to die by suicide. If you are a veteran who is 55 and older, you are four times more likely to die by suicide. If you are a female veteran, you are six times more likely to die by suicide than someone who is a non-veteran. So the just the, by the very nature of an individual being a veteran, you want to have kind of a closer eye on folks. Um, but really, the, the signs that an individual is struggling, we know them. Because if you're talking with a friend or a relative or anyone in the community, and they're struggling, here's the beauty of the day and age we live in. There are resources available. So if they're struggling with any issue, we want to be able to get them help. Um, when we do psychological autopsies, one of the things for people who have died by suicide, one of the things that we typically note is that there are uh, two major things that people experience, relationship issues and financial issues, or financial issues and relationship issues. So you've got this kind of back and forth issue of things that we can spot. If you know of someone who's struggling in those two areas, please get them connected with the Be Connected line. There's help out there. But, but even more than that, I, I just remember being at a veteran service organization that was for Korean veterans. And a lady stood up and said, you know, I asked my neighbor to kind of watch my house. And um, she went away for a few months and came back and wanted to get to know her neighbor a little bit more and realized that her neighbor, uh, the husband, was a veteran. And as they had gone to check on the house and do things in it, um, the lady had given them the food that was left over from while she, before she went on vacation. She gave it to them. And upon her return, the, the neighbor said, thank you so much for that food. That kept us from having to buy anything for two weeks because we had run out of our VA check for that month. Which shows you, if you don't know your neighbors, then you don't know what's happening with them. And so she recognized that and get, helped them get some of the resources that they needed in order to not have to worry about food for the next coming months. And so Be Connected is a key feature in that, in that within your communities, whether it's your church or you, know, you go to your library or you're just your neighbors, get connected with them. You will find out all kinds of things and you will find out if your, your neighbors have served in any capacity in the military. That's heartbreaking. You know, you know it's amazing, and, and I'm not to, I have no statistics to back this up. But in this time of where we're all connected electronically, we're, for a lot of people, this is their life, and we're more disconnected from humanity than ever. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. You got to get to know people, and you got to you got to interact and make people feel uh, a sense of need and wanted. Yeah. So. So the Be Connected has three components, call, match, and learn. Call is our call line, and anyone can call it. We've had non-veterans, families, yep. uh, service members. Um, a few months ago, we had a mechanic call on behalf of a veteran who was struggling to try to get their car fixed. Financial yep. issues, yeah. And so he called Be Connected and said, hey, can you help this individual finally get their car fixed? Um, so that's the call component. The match component will allow us to match you with resources. So much so that we will offer up navigation. We'll send someone to your house to help you through that. And that has been super helpful with caregivers who are elderly, who are caring for their veteran, who is also elderly, to actually have someone come to their home to help them. And then the final piece is learn. We will come to any organization or anyone who wants to be a partner with Be Connected and train you, navigation training, military culture training, Be Connected training, and a myriad of other kinds of training for at no cost. Well, that's important. I know the East Valley is just a huge population of, of veterans. And uh, it's such a great place to live. And, and, you know, a lot of people choose to live here. So yeah. this is really, Be Connected is, is is huge here. Um, how, how do people get in touch? Well, um, probably the easiest way is to go, you know, just go to the Be Connected website. That's beconnectedaz.org. And I think we've got um, a graphic for that and you've got materials with you. Um, that's the easiest way to start getting plugged into that 
uh, element. We also have a major partnership initiative. This is at no cost to anybody, none of the, the because of our funding th streams through the governor's office and all sorts of wonderful organizations, department, we're able to offer up this best practice training um, that has been done really all around the country, but it started here. Um, and so, uh, but the, the piece that we're really excited about, and I just have to do a shout out to the uh, Mesa Chamber of Commerce, Sally Harrison, and, and uh, many others, Natalie with the city of Mesa, the mayor. Um, we are working with um, you all to have a, uh, a, a partner community. And that is a great way that helps televise, it helps av uh, advertise what is going on. Because the reality is, is that veterans typically, once they leave the service and they're out of that tight camaraderie that they have there, they lose that and then they want to gain that back. So they're essentially, in a lot of cases, isolated but wanting to re-engage with you good folks and others. So we're excited about that, we're looking forward to it and that's uh, just a couple of the ways you can engage. Another way is through the Mesa Veterans Center. That's right. Yes. 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 Um, it's an awesome organization, and uh, our department has two veteran benefit mm -hmm. counselors there that will not only support Be Connected, but also will file for disability and pension for our veterans. So, well, we all know it's an issue, and we all recognize the fact that funds are always at the, at the root of a lot of these problems. Mm -hmm. What can folks do, everybody, and by the way, if you're a veteran or, or watching on TV and you, or you know somebody that, that needs some help, reach out. Uh, there's absolutely no, um, you know, please do that. We, we all want to help. How can, how can the folks here today or watching at home, how can, we, how can we help? I think one of the major things that we would encourage you to do is to put the telephone number into your phone. It's a really simple thing to do. That's 1-866-427-8387 and or, or four AZ vets. And uh, that's a great way. All you have to do, you can call on behalf of a veteran. That's a wonderful way to engage. And we're really encouraged by the response that we've had. We're receiving over 1,600 calls a month now. That's awesome. Hey, te technologically, I'm very challenged. Is there any way we can put that phone number up on the screens? Is it up? Yeah, great. And before you leave today, put that in your phone. Uh, turn your phone on to do that. Maybe we'll even get a couple more $20 to do that. <laughs> but put that in your phone. And uh, yeah, boy, you know, uh, communication, huge. It's huge. Uh, just, uh, we are the way to resolve suicide. The way we did it in the guard, if you break it all down, there were a lot of little factors to it, but it was that one-on-one -on -one interaction with people that the veterans trust. They may never come and talk to Wander I, but they're talking to you, or they're talking to a friend of yours. So having them engaged and connected with you is really critically important. Um, so we thank you. And you know what, just when you see a veteran, you know, and the gentleman, well, I, the gentleman that, had, that retired, had the retired on. When you see a, there he is. When you see a veteran, thank them for their service. Just a little thing like that could, could make a huge difference. Absolutely. Can I tell you one more exciting thing? I, absolutely. Uh, Mesa Police Department, um, I just want to give a big shout out to them. Uh, all, all their officers carry the cards, the Be Connected cards, so when they're seeing a veteran that they've interacted with, what a wonderful thing to be able to give them a card to be connected. That makes the police officer's um, job, we hope, a little bit easier because then they know that they've got them connected up to the right resources. Um, we're also working with you good folks for um, around employment issues. Um, we want to see lots of veterans come and serve well in the Mesa Police Department. Yeah, Mesa Police Department's awesome. I know a, guy, I know a big shot there named Andy. <laughs> He's a good I don't have a card. He didn't have any. <laughs> but I'll make sure you get one. Uh, well, parting words. Anybody, let's take uh, one question. If anybody's got a question, otherwise, any, uh, any parting um, call to action that we could do to help? So well, I would just say the other call to action would be know your community and know the individuals in it. And so as we, you know, become connected, which is why I love the name of Be Connected, you learn more about people and you can help them if they need it. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Um, are you guys going to stick around afterwards? Absolutely. Yeah. You're the final guest, so you don't have to stick around long. <laughs> if you've got any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, you know, of all the things we can do, this is hugely important. So thanks, thanks for all your help. And uh, let, let's, let's get that number from 20 is just, just too many. I like the second number. I like the zero part of it. Let's, yeah, let's get too. rid of the two and just go to zero. We, we agree. Yeah. Right. You're here. Hey, how about a big round of applause for these folks? Thank you for all you do. Thanks for watching. Step on the way down. Don't, don't trip and fall. Thank you, sir.